hello everyone welcome back to my channel psychology network today's topic which we would be studying about is integral yoga before that let me tell you something that uh, this is the part four of the series of psychological thought in eastern system i have already made videos on these three topics uh, bhagavad gita and hindu philosophy was part one sufism was part two and buddhism was part three I will link down below in the description box all the links for the YouTube videos of the first three parts. Let me also tell you that I have the PDF of this entire presentation, all the four subtopics together. So if you, if anybody wants, they can comment down below or there is a link of Google form in the description box. They can contact me via the Google form. So let's get back to the topic of integral yoga. Integral yoga was given by Sri Aurobindo. Now let me tell you a little bit about Sri Aurobindo. He was born in West Bengal. He was sent to Darjeeling uh, to study in a convent school. Then he went to the West to pursue higher studies. When he came back to India, he saw that the Britishers were ruling at that point of time and they weren't very kind to the Indians. So he joined a lot of revolutionary parties and he wanted Swaraj for the Indians. During a lot of uh, revolutionary acts, he was arrested and um, during the jail time, he realized his spiritual path. He went to Pondicherry and set up his own um, ashram there and he then propounded the concept of integral yoga. So the two main books by Sri Aurobindo is The Life Divine and The Synthesis of Yoga. Now what is integral yoga integral yoga is a way of complete god realization and a complete self-realization god realization self-realization same thing a complete fulfillment of our being and the consciousness a complete transformation of our nature and this implies a complete perfection of life remember this the aim of life according to the theory of integral yoga is perfection of life So a lot of things were asked to Sri Aurobindo about integral yoga, the concept of integral yoga. He was uh, asked whether uh, how this new type of yoga would, you know, affect the individuals. But the point is, Sri Aurobindo said this is not to see integral yoga as a new type of yoga, but integral yoga is the synthesis, not only of few, but all the systems of yoga there are a lot of a lot of different types of yoga like karma yoga gyan yoga bhakti yoga so sri aurobindo gave a synthesis of all the systems of yoga that is your integral yoga he talks about the crisis which the modern uh, sansar the modern society is going through and that is uh, that has a lot of sides so the solution should also be many sided as he says so nothing short of a synthesis would give the needed rem re remedy so the remedy is a synthesized yoga which is the integral yoga for the practice of integral yoga one must first resolve to surrender entirely to the divine there is no other way this is the way that to surrender to the divine one must have five psychological virtues. Virtues are the five psychological perfections as we talked about. The perfection aim is the perfection of life. So the five psychological perfections are sincerity or transparency, faith or trust, basically the trust in the divine, devotion or gratitude, courage or inspiration, endurance or perseverance. These are some views of Sri Aurobindo. He talks about the eternal circle that all the things is originated from the Brahma and will go back to him. Life and death are the two sides of a single circle. The soul can be determined. Uh, the soul can determine the fate. Human endeavor is to attain divine life that is to be melted back into the Brahma. Again, this that is there is an that there is an eternal circle. Everything originates from Brahma, Brahma goes back to Brahma, then originates again from Brahma, goes back to Brahma. It is a circle. 
now he talks about transformation of an individual this is very important so he says that man is born as an ignorant divided and conflicted being he does not know his path he does not know his nature he does not know uh, how to integrate his being what purpose he has to follow so and what his individual and spiritual potential is per potential is among so many other people so he's ignorant he does not know much so to overcome such limitation shri aurobindo suggested a process which is called triple transformation so the first is the psychic transformation psychic transformation talks about movement within to the depths and away from the surface of life culminating in the discovery of the evolving soul discovery of the evolving soul from the experiences he sees uh, the oneness and unity happens oneness and unity there is harmony in all the experiences uh, finally there is harmony in all the experiences of life then after psychic transformation comes your spiritual transformation so as a result of making the psychic change the mind of human being expands and he experiences knowledge through light intuition and deep knowledge after your psychic and spiritual transformation comes your supramental transformation the supramental transformation is that the human makes the most radical change makes the most radical change there is a complete transformation of mind heart emotions and the physical body this particular slide is very important if you can pause and take a screenshot of this so this was all about integral yoga mainly remember who propounded it and the concept of psychological perfection and the perfection of life and the transformation of an individual thank you so much for listening to this uh, presentation hope you liked it please subscribe and like this channel so i can keep on making free content free study material for everybody